Hi people, welcome back to my channel. I am Naomi and this is the Diary of Naomi. And on this channel you will learn everything self-care, self-love, woman empowerment, how to be the best woman that you can be. That's what this channel is about. And tell your mum, your sister, your niece, your auntie, your grandma, every woman that you know, pass this video on to. And today's video is going to be about feminine energy, how to ooze feminine energy and how to be a feminine woman because being a feminine woman is not something that we've been taught. We are born women but we are not taught how to be feminine. We are not taught that. So in this video I'm going to give you a few ways in which you can ooze feminine energy and get what you want. I'm telling you, get what you want. Just text I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on the Femininity and being feminine is a female attribute. It's what females are meant to be, feminine. But the thing is, most of us are born women. Well, most of us are born women. But it's not something that we're taught. I wasn't taught how to be feminine. I wasn't, I was taught how to do the basic stuff as a human being, I was taught how to be human, I was taught how to be, do things that girls do, but I wasn't taught how to be feminine, and there's a massive difference between being just a woman or a female and being feminine, and femininity is something that us women need, we need femininity and to be in our feminine if we want to get what we want in this world, I'm telling you, and it's not taught enough, a lot of girls nowadays are not taught to be feminine, they feel like going on Instagram in next to nothing is feminine. No, it's not. They think by having having nice hair is feminine. And though it is a feminine attribute, it's not being in your feminine. You can be feminine and look feminine from the outside, but you still have masculine attributes. When I think of a feminine woman, I think of a woman of value, a woman who looks feminine, like I says, who dresses, maybe nicely, she dresses feminine, you know, in feminine clothes, a woman that speaks softly, a woman who is kind, a woman that is compassionate, a woman whose makeup is done nicely as well. These are all things that I perceive as being feminine. We live in a world where there's a lot of women who are either single, you know, women who are adopted by men, and women who are, you know, who are not married, who are not in relationships, so we kind of take on masculine energy. When you look at men, men are of doing, they protect, they provide, they go out there and work, they're breadwinners. So masculine energy is a doing energy and a lot of us women have to do for ourselves, so we take on that energy. However, we need to have a lot of feminine energy if we want to attract the man who has that masculine energy. Do you understand what I mean? So if we remain in our feminine and act out of our feminine, naturally we would attract the masculine but because a lot of us are acting within our masculine as well as our feminine, it's all getting kind of messed up and men are looking at us and thinking, oh, I don't want that that woman who is masculine. And so what I want to teach you today, what I'm going to give you today is some ways of being feminine. What makes a woman feminine? Because even me, something that I've had to research because I feel like at times I can be quite masculine. I grew up where I'm the eldest child. So I've had to always go out there and do what I have to do for myself. Like I didn't have anyone to lean on. I had my mum and dad, but as I got older, I just done things by myself. Then I travelled the world by myself, I found my house by myself, I done up my house myself, I went to work for myself. So all them things I'm doing is masculine energy. So there's now I've had to kind of learn and relearn how to be feminine. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna show you. Like I'm gonna teach you or give you some advice on how to be feminine. The thing is, being feminine is a woman's power. You don't understand how much power lies in being feminine as a woman. There's so much power in it. Like, you can rule the world. You can have any man you want if you're actually within your feminine. And a lot of us need to learn how to switch on that feminine energy. Just be in our feminine all the time. Don't, don't allow people to take you out of your feminine. It's easy to be done, especially in this world that we're living in. So it's about embodying femininity and it's not just all about how you look, it's how you act. Femininity isn't just a way dressing feminine, it's about acting feminine. And like I said, feminine is just about being, masculine energy is about doing. When you're a feminine woman, you don't really have to do anything because a masculine will do that for you. That's what I need you to remember. Feminine is just about being, masculine is about doing. Remember that. So one of the attributes of being feminine 
is being of peace. Being at peace is being calm, being kind. When you're at peace, you can be calm, you can be kind, you can be compassionate, you can be in all these different energies. This is what you kind of release when you're when you're at peace within yourself. So all these other things like kindness, compassion, just come naturally. And even when you're in a relationship, you want to be your man's peace. That's what they always say. A woman's being their man's peace. So when you exude peace, you receive peace. And you will receive that in return. A woman of who is feminine doesn't need to be hyperactive, doesn't have to be loud. She just needs to be within her space, in a peaceful space, where she can kind of be who she needs to be. And that's like being kind, empathetic. These are traits of, of a feminine. Kind, empathy being softly spoken, speaking at a certain tone. If you notice, like, they always say, when you want to pull in a man, and this is not just about men and women, this is just about the feminine energy and the masculine energy. When you want to have a man listen to you, to slow down your tone, slow down your speech and kind of lower your tone. Have a woman's voice, but also have a lower tone and slow down how you speak. So that just shows calmness, that shows peace. When you can just speak at a calm level, as, and be softly spoken that draws in a man because you are now being within your feminine that's what he likes a man likes a feminine woman so he can be masculine towards you and do the masculine things that he needs to do so a woman who is feminine she is peaceful she gives peace she exudes peace reciprocity between a man and a woman is natural it's a natural energy that we don't see but it's natural so when you are peaceful he will reciprocate and be a provider and a protector when you are peaceful he will just naturally want to protect you so he will reciprocate whatever you're giving out like attracts like and that every cause has an effect so what you're doing is giving peace and he will reciprocate with protection so be a woman of peace being emotionally intelligent is also a trait of being feminine. It's a feminine trait. Obviously, as women, we are emotional beings. Men are more logical. But there's nothing wrong with being emotional. But it's the way that you deal with it and having emotional intelligence. And not just also for your own emotions, for other people's emotions. Because at the end of the day, we all work and live off emotions. We are emotional beings. But you have to also be able to notice when you are triggering somebody emotionally too so being emotionally intelligent is not giving into your emotions all the time being emotionally intelligent knowing you have to switch it up you might feel a certain way but you have to know to control them emotions at certain times and no one wants somebody who is emotionally unstable emotionally un unstable people can be quite can be draining can be draining because everything will set them off emotionally and they will do it anywhere at any time but when you have emotional intelligence you know when to kind of how to control your emotions and not to be a sucker to your emotions you don't want to be a sucker to your emotions that every emotion that you feel you have to be acting it out because that can be draining and like i said when you are also of emotional intelligence you can see other people's emotions and knowing you're triggering them. So having that emotional intelligence will kind of make you know when to kind of call it down. Emotional intelligence is a massive thing. And even me, I've been a sucker to my emotions. I can be quite emotional. Sometimes I have to sit down and think, Naomi, just calm down. This is just emotions. It's just a feeling. Don't give into your feeling all the time. I know that the time of the month happens with us women where we are just super emotional. So emotional intelligence is... A feminine trait when you can be emotionally intelligent and calm even though you might feel a certain way you could be having a discussion with your partner and you do feel emotional but you kind of don't give in you don't start shouting or screaming you kind of stay calm within that emotion until it goes away because emotions come and they go emotions will pass you might feel like this today but it shall pass it too shall pass so don't be a sucker to your emotions because sometimes acting out of emotions can just mess things up it can just mess things up but if it's a relationship with it's at your workplace anywhere you could be out on the street and someone kind of triggers an emotion and you start you know acting wild you don't know what they can bring to you so being emotionally intelligent will help you in life and it is a feminine trait because it shows that you in control you don't let your emotions get the better of you when you are within your feminine energy and you're acting at your feminine you have boundaries feminine women have boundaries you do not just let any and anybody up in your space you know who you are you know you're a woman of virtue you know you're a woman of standards 
you know you're a strong woman a strong woman who is feminine not a strong woman who is masculine you're a strong woman who is feminine i don't know i don't like the one that word strong woman i don't want to be a strong woman a strong woman is acting out of masculine acting out of the masculine being masculine that is being strong i think that is put on black women a lot being a strong black woman no we don't want to be a strong black woman we want to be feminine black women who get treated good by men too just because cause when people think that you're strong you are in your like i said you're in a masculine so they don't need to help you because you're strong don't put the word strong and woman together no separate it you are a feminine woman i'm a feminine woman i'm not a strong woman i'm a feminine woman when men, men see and hear feminine they will do what they need to do strong woman means that you're doing everything no you're not doing everything you're a feminine woman <laughs> so anyway Feminine women have boundaries. You cannot let anybody be around you because if you're not a discerning person and you not you can't pick up on intuition, then people can be doing all sorts to you. Not everybody who's around you wishes you well. Just because somebody is giving you money or doing certain things doesn't mean that they have your best interests at heart. They could be trying to buy you. So a feminine woman knows her boundaries. She knows how to be discerning. She knows how to use her intuition. A feminine woman won't let compliments get to her head she'll have a man compliment her on how beautiful she is but she will know whether to let that man in or not she won't be like not to her feet or made all googly eyes and stuff just because a man has complimented her she knows that she still has to set boundaries because she needs to know what his intentions are like everyone's intentions are good and sometimes people throw you off with compliments with gifts with certain things just to get into your space so you have to have boundaries you have to know who you are and a feminine woman is polite she's friendly she knows who she is a lot of the times when people are not polite or they are unfriendly it's because they haven't healed a feminine woman knows that she has to heal she knows that she has to heal from past traumas we all have past traumas we all have been through things but a lot of us who act out of anger out of insecurities it's because we haven't healed a feminine woman has healed she's done the self-work she's done the meditating she's had a, a therapist she's been to therapy and now she is secure within herself so all she wants to do is be friendly there is no need for her not to be friendly there is no need for her not to be polite a feminine woman is polite at all times she just goes about her day being happy she will walk down the street and say hello to people because she's happy she's polite she walks with her back straight she walks with her head up she walks with confidence so if you want to be a feminine woman be polite being feminine is not just about men however when you are in your feminine you will attract men so if you are naturally polite you are naturally friendly and acting within your feminine men will naturally want to be around you they will attract to you because you're that woman who sits in the bar and you'll see a man and say hello because you're polite have you ever done that i've been out before and i've just been sitting at a bar on my own and i smile at people i say hello i don't feel you know i don't have that straight face or that resting bitch face as they say i don't have that but it's just polite and when you are polite people want to be around you because when you are a polite woman that shows femininity and when a masculine man sees that he understands that and he understands that he has to reciprocate that and that he will reciprocate that by buying you a drink or something like that coming over to talk to you so politeness is not a bad thing you know a lot of women don't know how to be polite or they are scared to be polite because they are so used to being their masculine they are so used to having to do things for themselves and they don't even realize that the only reason that they're doing everything by themselves is because they're acting within their masculine. If they were to drop their guard and be polite, be friendly, talk to people, they will naturally attract the right people. So be polite people. Feminine women are polite. Say hello to people on the street. Say good morning. You could be sitting in a cafe, see somebody across the way from you. Say, say hello. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not that you're trying to get anything out of them. It's just that you're just being polite, just being in your feminine, just being who you need to be, being who you want to be so try always to act within your feminine femininity there's so many different attributes of femininity the way that you walk your posture walking into a room and having a smile on your face walking with your shoulders back your head up that shows femininity that shows confidence you don't have to be overbearing but just be soft about it that's what it's about and i've i've done it sometimes i don't want people to talk to me so i will put on that resting bitch face myself I don't, i'm just not in the mood to talk to people but if you're going about your day if you're in business if you're a woman you're looking for a partner be in your feminine be in your feminine because 
that is just our natural that's just that that should come natural to us but it doesn't because of the world that we live in a lot of us have had to kind of take on that masculine energy because that's all we know it's all about living and learning and i think as women once we are in that feminine energy and we act out of it all the time you will see things change you will get that man you'll get that doing man you'll get that provider that protector that man that professes that man who looks after you who buys you gifts who takes you for meals because you are acting within your feminine so he can act in his masculine and like i said being feminine is about just being being passionate being caring being friendly being kind if you notice what i'm saying it's all just it's not actually doing any phys anything physically it's just being being feminine is just about being it's not about actually doing anything because when you look at it obviously if you're in a relationship you're going to be like doing things like cooking and stuff that's different it's just about letting off certain energies being happy within yourself and going to therapy should be something that most people should be doing there's nothing wrong with going to therapy go to therapy because we have trauma because at the end of the day our parents grew us up the best that they know but a lot of our parents had their own traumas when you're looking after a child or growing up a child you're just doing the best that you know there's no handbook most of us will have some kind of trauma a lot of the time our trauma shows up in our everyday life because it hasn't been dealt with the way that we treat people people the way that we treat ourselves the way that we treat our children the way that we treat our partners it's all based off what we know what we've learned what we've been shown throughout our life really so yeah people i hope you enjoyed this video and being feminine there's a lot more attributes of being feminine and as i go along and do new videos i will come back to this as well because there's different types of feminine energy as well this is just one part of it but i will do other videos on it if you like it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend because sharing is caring. This is the diary of Naomi and I hope you enjoyed it.